Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss fitting structural equation models using the RAM path matrix specification method. In order to understand how to fit matrices to data in OpenMX, you need to both understand expectations and fit functions. Expectations use a given set of matrices in order to determine an expected covariance matrix. The maximum likelihood fit function that OpenMX then uses minimizes the difference between the expected covariance matrix and the observed covariance matrix of data. In this portion of the video series, we will mostly be focused on RAM type expectations. On the right, you see a path model for a simple factor analysis. On the left is the RAM path matrix algebra for recreating the expected covariance of data given this model. The goal of a structural equation model is to create an expected covariance matrix that best resembles the covariance matrix of the real data. This specific equation is known as the RAM path notation. RAM notation is a way of converting any path diagram into three matrices which can then be used to create an expected covariance matrix. The first matrix, A, is a square matrix. This matrix represents the asymmetric arrows in the model. In this case, the factor loadings going from x to x1, x2, and x3. The next matrix, S, represents the symmetric arrows within our model. In this case, it represents the variances of our variables of interest. Finally, the filter matrix, F, specifies which variables are manifest and which variables are latent. In this framework, we can also model the expected means of our data. In future videos in this series, we will be using the RAM path specification in order to model our structural equation models. Thanks for watching.